What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out 10 reasons why Jay Uso shouldn't dethrone Roman Reigns by Russell Talk. This should be a very interesting one on why he shouldn't dethrone Roman Reigns. See if he's making some good points here. Appreciate all the love and support. Link to the original video will be down below. This is Get the right bloodline story, which has been running since 2020, seems to be drawing to an end with Jay Uso versus Roman Reigns at SummerSlam, which begs the question should it end with main event undisputed champion Jay Uso? We have some thoughts about that. I'm Adam from Wrestle Talk, and here are 10 reasons Jay Uso should and shouldn't dethrone Roman Reigns. Oh, should number should one, there isn't a better narrative finish okay. to the Bloodline. The Bloodline saga has quite rightly been ranked amongst the greatest storylines in WWE history. The longevity, the twists and turns, the award-winning performances, it truly has been unlike anything in recent memory. However, like a great TV series that finishes in subpar, ill-thought-out fashion, a poor ending can easily negate much of the incredible stuff before it, leaving mm -hmm. a sour taste in the mouth, unrelated picture of Game of Thrones. Yes, as mm. much as we may have thought in the past of other opponents that may have wrapped things up nicely for Roman's Sami Zayn, Cody Rhodes, there really is only one that makes the absolute most sense, isn't there? And that is, of course, Jay. Basic observation would be that it began with Jay, so it should yeah. end with Jay. A nice, neat, and satisfying way to book it. A lot of people are thinking like that, and I wouldn't be mad for you to think like that. From a storyline perspective, it started with Jay. The first feud was with Jay. It started with him. The bloodline starts with him. Maybe over these years, he knows Roman's weak spots. He's seen it. Maybe it ends with him. Wouldn't be, wouldn't, wouldn't be mad about that. In the saga, yet there's so much more weight to it than just that. Jay's story is about overcoming an abusive relationship, pushing mm -hmm. past the weaknesses that others label you with, and ultimately proving that redemption is possible in the end. Full Circle sums it up three years on from when it began. Shouldn't number one, but what about Cody? Yep. Unfortunately for Jay, though, there is perhaps a bigger story WWE is intending to tell with Roman uh -huh. Reigns and his undisputed Universal Championship. There weren't many fans who believed that Cody Rhodes wasn't going to walk out of WrestleMania 39 as champion, despite us having nearly a thousand days of proof saying otherwise it just made sense if not now yeah. then when we thought when cody failed what we all thought was wwe's biggest mistake could yeah. turn into its best judgment call given the incredible tv and immense success since yes because as much as cody could technically still finish his story against a jay uso or another champion would that really count or would it yeah. be seen as a lesser achievement because he couldn't get the job done against the guy if wwe mm -hmm. had more stock in cody's future than jay's and it does seem like that's the case right now he needs to knock off Roman, right? Not his cousin. Should number two, time Fair to make point. a star. But hey, the bottom line is Roman win or not, Cody is already a bona fide star. Mm -hmm. Cody can find another way to the top of the card. I mean, gosh, we're really flip-flopping here, aren't we? For Jay, though, can you realistically and confidently say that he can still reach that level following a loss to Roman? Jay's a great wrestler, excellent promo, and clearly given the current fan responses to him, he's ready for that top guy push. But without the biggest rubber stamp of them all from his cousin, Jay would sadly look much more likely to sink than swim. Similar mm. to Undertaker's mania undefeated streak before it roman's title run represents a truly rare chance to make someone a made man and define their career in an instant that is why unlike lesnar breaking taker's streak a jay win would feel worthwhile not only for narrative reasons but the establishment of a brand new top star yeah. opportunities such as these should be bestowed upon those who have the most to gain right and quite simply there's perhaps no one more so than main event jay uso however there's one more important thing to consider shouldn't number two what happens next yeah. yes as much as jay's trial Triumph would make for one of the greatest moments in WWE's history and would be remembered as such. What comes next is truly what makes or breaks everything. Look no further than perennial tag star turned WrestleMania main event to Kofi Kingston for proof. The build to the win can be as great as anything, as can uh -huh. the moment itself. However, the reign itself paints the narrative that lives on in the history books for years to come. Chris Benoit in 2004, Rey Mysterio in 2006, Dolph Ziggler in 2013, Big E in 2021. We could uh -huh. go on and on. The what comes next needs to be well thought out a conscious effort must be made to find what made the chase and that's 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 one of the hardest things to actually do the chase will always be especially if someone's really trying to get you know like people are really getting behind someone chase will be fantastic it's what you do with the rain afterwards that's what matters
so good must be translated into the afterwards. As much as Jay seems like the right choice to end Roman's reign, unlike other options such as Cody, you would worry about his longevity as a top guy without the Bloodline saga and yeah. Roman Reigns in the picture. Without Roman as the antagonist, the Joker to his Batman, what's left? Given Jay's unproven singles track record, it truly is one massive question mark. He's clearly talented enough, but sometimes that isn't always enough for the reign itself mm -hmm. to work out. Should number three, third time's the charm. As great as the Bloodline's been, and as many times as it's proven everyone wrong who called it to end long ago, it can't last forever. Much to the behest of the WWE and Fox brass seeing those SmackDown ratings. So yeah. if Jay loses at SummerSlam, there will undoubtedly be a large contingent of fans asking the, if not him, then yeah. who Ooh. question once again. Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, and arguably Drew McIntyre all seem to be the right guy at the time. So there's certainly a fair amount of danger involved with passing up yet another opportunity to pull the trigger when it feels like it means something. The magnitude of the disappointment for Cody in particular was off the scales as we all truly thought it was the time considering yep. the many missed opportunities before <laughs> it so, wasn't. Man. So I genuinely don't know how WWE can continue to play the same card again and again without serious fan backlash. Eventually they do have to deliver and give us that moment of gratification and Jay's coronation would undoubtedly be the most gratifying moment of all. Perhaps even more so than all the others listed. So maybe do it WWE. Be like Papa Us Rikishi and do it for the people. Do Shouldn't number people. three. What about Jimmy? Throughout mm. the annals of time there have often been tag teams with one standout who seems destined for a breakout singles career and the other one a Marty Jannetty, to be <laughs> unkind. Now, for over a decade, I don't think any of us would have looked at the Usos and earmarked one for success over the other. Yet, following Jay's singles run in late 2020 and his stellar character work in the Bloodline, he has naturally become a star and one yeah. positioned for a marquee spot. So one must question what indeed will become of Jimmy if Jay does become the top title holder in the company. Does he become a cheerleader to Jay? Do they continue as a tag team? Does Jimmy get jealous and turn on Jay? No, please don't give Jimmy the Tucker treatment, we beg of you. It just kind of leaves him in an awkward <laughs> position. Quick becoming yeah. an afterthought and sidekick. More so than maybe any tandem in WWE history, Jimmy and Jay feel like a package deal. They have that twin bond that Jay detailed last mm -hmm. week. Unfortunately, though, it could be that same bond that prevents Jay from reaching the top of the mountain at this time. Should number four. So what, the villain just wins again? We all <laughs> love happy endings in our stories, right? We all love seeing the baddie get what's coming to them before the end credits. Yet in WWE, we've effectively had Avengers Infinity Wars ending on loop for three years straight, more than any other yeah, point in much. Roman's title <laughs> The Jey Uso narrative arc. Bro, is one Roman has been Thanos just winning every single time. <laughs> necessitates a happy conclusion. As mentioned, this is a tale of overcoming psychological trauma and emotional abuse. What kind of sicko has that tale end with said villain walking away as champion? I know it. It's wrestling and Roman's a heel. I get it. But seriously, where does Jay go after that? Like, personally? Where does he go after failing to overcome his cousin? That redemption mm -hmm. likely won't come again unless he helps Cody to win, but that feels a bit, you know. So unless you turn him into broken Jay Uso, then that's probably it for him and repairing the emotional damage sustained. Shouldn't number four, he already got that moment. Despite it obviously not being the moment of dethroning Roman, unlike mm -hmm. Sammy, Cody, and Drew, Jay did get his monster pop. He did get his cathartic moment. He did pin the tribal chief. He and Jimmy overcame the bloodline's cruelty, got payback on their cousin, and their strength together validated the He's decision the to break away from Roman's tyranny for good. Jimmy broke Jay out of the mental trap he was in, which in itself is a victory, perhaps even the more important one in the bigger picture of things. So as a result, it's kind of hard to see WWE doing the same again, unfortunately. The win for Jay at Money in the Bank. Yeah, that's why I, I don't think he is going to win. Uh, is I don't see Roman getting pinned twice in back-to-back -back pay per views No. <laughs> Feels like maybe that was his moment. It was his consolation and a catalyst to fuel the singles title program we're seeing now. But sadly, that's likely it's all it's going to be. Yeah. Roman's undefeated run is over, but his title reign will ultimately remain. Mm -hmm. Should number five, time is up. I don't know if you've noticed, but WWE is very much obsessed with records lately. So when Roman retained his title at WrestleMania, the first reason many of us thought of was his close proximity to the 1,000-day milestone. Yeah. But hey, that's come and gone now, as has his surpassing of Pedro Morales to become the fourth on the all-time list. We've all had our celebrations. There were t-shirts made. It was very nice. But realistically, unless you genuinely want Roman to hold the titles for another four years and surpass no. Bruno San Martino, what is the point of waiting any longer? I suppose he can surpass Hulk Hogan, but that's over 300 days away. No. It's in the whole Cody WrestleMania 40 idea out the window and no thank you. So let's just let go of this record now. It's achieved what the company set out for. The record books are modernized and Roman is now undisputably the guy. Why yeah. pass up the best? 
best narrative conclusion to this entire story simply to pad out these stats any longer. And shouldn't number five, maybe Solo should be the one. While there have been teasers of Solo turning his back on Roman when he stopped, stared, and picked up that lay in the middle of the ring, it was abundantly clear what path WWE are likely to take in the future. The yep. rumblings of support for Solo from live crowds every time he's teased a turn on Roman shows that fans would be down for Solo to be the one to take out Roman. Similar to Batista and yep. Triple H and what really should have happened with Wardlow and MJF, there's always something so satisfying. Fucking facts. That's they dropped the ball on fucking they dropped the ball on Wardlow. He should have been the next guy. And they fucked that up. I don't know how. They didn't have nothing for him after MJF. They didn't. They had nothing for him. Flying about an enforcer turning on his master. Solo's been the key for Roman's success since Clash at the Castle. Yet Facts. it's clear that Roman's lack of appreciation will come back to bite him just as it has with the Usos. However, Solo being Roman's final leg to stand on would truly accentuate the feeling mm. that the walls are closing in or perhaps serve a more satisfying final full stop on the entire story. What if Solo won the Rumble? What then? Ooh. Unlike a Cody win, Solo being the one would fittingly ensure that the Bloodline saga remains a family affair until the very end, something incredibly fitting, all yeah. things Considered. So whether it's Solo or Jay, maybe it's time for a new tribal chief. Let's just ensure that Paul sticks around to carry all the belts, because I want that visual forever. And that's our list. Do you think Jay should win it? So Ain't gonna lie to you. That is pretty good. Solo enters in the Royal Rumble, and Solo wins the Royal Rumble. Once again, some could say that's a little bit too soon to push it, but I don't know. They've been teased. They're not teasing this for no reason. If you watch... And it's been subtle teasing. It's not even outwardly. He's just going rogue. It's subtle. And I appreciate that. Because the fans are catching on. And the fans are like cheering for it. I do think there's going to be some type of. Something's going to happen at SummerSlam. And the question will become. At some point relatively soon. And it may happen at SummerSlam. Solo is going to say no and going to do things his way. It's going to happen. I'm honestly looking forward to when Solo, Jimmy, and Jay finally get on one page as a family, as a unit, and they stand against Roman. Oh, that's going to be... Because that's going to happen at some point, too. This very interesting we don't know and that's what makes this quite entertaining we really have no idea man so comment down below let me know do y'all think jay should be the one to do it at SummerSlam this year or do y'all think he shouldn't be the one to do it at SummerSlam this year let me know down below but i appreciate all love and support guys shown on channel road to 150k and i'm still getting the speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all keeping me see y'all next one peace